Hello, my name is Paige McLean. I unfortunately cannot be there today, so I thought I would make this video to introduce myself. Unfortunately, I was in an accident and am awaiting surgery and will have to recover before I can travel to Chile. So when I do finally arrive, uh, I will be doing dissertation research for my PhD in cultural anthropology. And my research begins at the end of a road. So I study the Carretera Austral. It's a national highway project that has been under construction for over 40 years. And while the trajectory is mostly complete, paving and extensions continue today. Um, and uh, my research focuses on what happens after a road is built, not necessarily the uh, contemporary construction of it. I ask what political, economic, and social processes come together and are enabled by the Aysen region's first north-south road. Under Pinochet, the road was called a great project of integration, and today the road falls under a discourse of connectivity. Along the highway, as some of you may notice if you travel there, there are government billboards that promote the road under the auspices of Conectividad Austral. My research gets to the heart of what it actually means to be connected and disconnected in the Aysen region. I am approaching Conectividad as a discourse, practice, and phenomenon. In other words, it is something that is talked about, it has a certain ideology and set of values behind it, something that is put into practice through infrastructural investments and face-to-face -face contact, and finally it is something that is experienced at a phenomenological or corporeal level. When I applied for the Fulbright, I included histories and futures in the title of my project. In order to understand the contemporary experiences of connectivity, I have also added a historical dimension to understanding connection in the Aysen region. As an internal frontier or an isolated or extreme zone, Conectividad has been a constant priority for economic and political interests in the region since its integration into Chile. However, previous forms of social connectivity often go unnoticed. Using oral history as a method, I will also be conducting research into three previous forms of connectivity for the region. Um, East-West trade routes to Argentina, which is the way people connected um, for good and uh, economic reasons um, before the road. Subsidized regional flights and community radio. In comparing these previous forms of intra-regional and international connections with the contemporary interregional highway, so one that connects Aysen with other regions in Chile, I hope to enter into conversations with Aysaninos and other residents in the region about their hopes and expectations for the future. Um, I originally proposed a comparative study, but after discussion with my dissertation committee, I will have one primary field site, which is Biohiggins, and I'll be doing additional travel throughout the region. In addition to arriving more recently, um, the, the road arriving more recently to Bio Higgins, um, I'm also interested in the geographical and social subjectivities for those living at the end of the road, where Conectividad Austral via the Carretera Austral only goes in one direction, which is north towards central Chile. Bio Higgins is a small town of about 600 people with a large state presence, and its location along a contested border region raises additional incentives for infrastructural development to make claims for Chilean sovereignty. Some of my methods will include participant observation, so spending time with people in their daily routines, both in town and travel uh, along the road and outside of town. Um, I'm also interested in doing participatory transects, so as I travel with people or walk through town, understanding what places are significant to them, um, why they have such meanings and how people perceive of the landscape. Um, I will also be doing semi-structured interviews, um, so talking to people about their experiences and how they put them into words and conceptualize them verbally. Um, and uh, with the hijos de pioneros, or descendants of the region's homesteaders, I will also conduct oral history interviews to understand their experiences and perspectives on some of the previous forms of connectivity I mentioned earlier. We will finally engage in a media analysis of radio, print, and visual media uh, that speak to connectivity, infrastructure, or questions of the town's geographical and social identity and priorities. I have three research uh, affiliations. First, Patricia Carrasco at the University of Aysen is currently engaged in an oral history project on the pioneer history of Bio Higgins. 
Uh, I, we have talked about me joining her research efforts, and I anticipate both drawing on her research, and she's an hija de pioneros, so I'm also interested in her own experiences and motivations for conducting this project. Her research suggests that Aiseninos have constructed plural identities through their experiences with the region's diverse landscapes, and so no single story can uh, capture the impact of the Carretera Austral on local communities and families. Uh, my other affiliation in the region is Trace Gale, who is involved in uh, many rural community and agritourism initiatives in the region, and she is finding ways that communities throughout Aysen can have more agency and authenticity in their dealings with increasing waves of tourists. Finally, in Santiago, Andres Núñez is sort of my theoretical advisor on this project. I anticipate meeting with him each time I go to Santiago. And his research suggests that contemporary discourses of environmentalism and conservation presents a new form of colonization in the region. This is a very important additional backdrop to the complexities of development in Aysén. Upon returning to the United States afterwards, I will turn this research into a dissertation and hopefully a book project someday. My goal is to continue to work in academia um, and continue my research in Patagonia. Um, and thank you so much for this opportunity to continue on this path and towards my goals.